This wave is over 2,000 feet tall. Now it's almost as tall as the tallest building in the world. Each day, the ocean scares me more and more. And today, it's gonna get even scarier for you. The water started to recede Wipe rapidly, my hair. exposing the ocean floor. People were confused and started to notice the wave coming closer to Run, the shore. Bro. This was a massive tsunami triggered by an undersea earthquake. As the wave approached, it grew in height, reaching up to 100 feet in some what? places. It slammed into the area with unimaginable force, obliterating everything That's in its scary, path. Man. The wave swept entire neighborhoods away, leaving nothing behind but rubble. And over 167,000 people lost their lives in this region alone. This event was also called the Boxing Day Tsunami or the Indian Ocean Tsunami, and it happened in December 2004. Bro, if you ever see the water run away from the beach, you better start running too! A boat versus tsunamis. 10% tsunami. The Titanic is unsinkable, bro! Okay, now we got 30% tsunami. Bro literally snapped. He needs some milk. He needs some milk! Okay, versus 70% tsunami. The Titanic just took flight. I can fly, Jack! 100% tsunami. It did a backflip. I guess the Titanic can sink. Holy tsunami! Bro, that thing's about to take out that entire city. Well, guys, I'll be honest with you. Since I'm an ocean expert, I'll tell you this. It's fake! Man, why does the water have to be so scary? Do you want to know how big tsunamis can get? Check this out. Do you know how tsunamis are formed? Yeah, your dad farts in the ocean. Yeah. As one of the most destructive natural disasters on Earth, yep. humans are almost powerless against them. That's true. There are three common ways tsunamis can form. Underwater volcanic eruptions, underwater landslides, yep. and the movement of tectonic plates. These activities release a massive amount of energy into the water, causing the sea level in that area to rise. However, due to gravity, the sea level eventually returns to its original position, causing the energy to spread horizontally and creating a massive tsunami. Did bro just said tsunami? It's almost as bad as this guy. The tsunami. Guys, water is one of the most destructive and powerful forces on the planet. Did you know that one gallon of water weighs eight pounds and in the Gulf of Mexico, there are 643 quadrillion gallons of water? And if you multiply times that eight, you get this crazy number. That's almost as big as your mind. Let's compare all the tsunami sizes. Some are even bigger than your dad. Okay, so we got right here starting off, we got a little small wave. That's my kind of wave, cute and simple. Man, this water must be in Australia. There's a big wave. It's almost as big as my muscles, bro. Someone surfed this wave in 2017? Guys, that's taller than some buildings. Okay, here's the Indian tsunami we mentioned earlier. It looks small, but you saw the destruction it left. And so the next one is the Tokohu tsunami in Japan. Now that was caused by a massive 5.0 earthquake. And guys, if you think these waves are scary, just wait, they're only gonna get bigger and bigger. Oh, this is the Krakatoa tsunami and it was caused by a volcano. This volcanic eruption actually triggered the loudest sound ever recorded on earth and it sounded like this. April Fool Tsunami. Bro, that wave ain't no joke. Get it? Okay, so next we have the Lava Nevada Tsunami. Bro, that wave got a mohawk. Hey, it kind of looks like a Spinosaurus though. So the next one is going to be kind of crazy. I know, ooh, this one's actually theoretical. It was caused about 66 million years ago. Look how tall it is. That's a rocket ship. Bro, better start blasting off. The Unzen Mega Tsunami. Now this was in Japan too. Bro, Australia has the creatures and Japan has the natural disasters. I'm just gonna stay home. In 1980, the ancient days. What am I talking about? I was already born by then. 850 feet, that is massive. Like halfway up the Eiffel Tower. The Volant Dam Tsunami. Now this was in Italy and what's crazy, only 2,000 people were lost. Could have been more. Now check this one out guys, this one's gonna be crazy. The largest tsunami ever recorded in 1946. And no bro, I wasn't born yet. Maybe. This thing is big enough to wipe out an entire city, guys. You know what's really crazy? Besides me, it only caused two deaths. <gasps> Huge tsunami, oh my lord, run, run, run! Wait a minute, bro. Those are just clouds. Ain't nothing getting past my goggles. <gasps> no way, no way. So this guy is surfing the unsurfable wave. This wave is like 97 feet tall. That reminds me of the movie Jaws. Yeah, no thanks. So guys, this tsunami actually happened in Japan and you can see the power of waves. It's pretty scary. I mean, it's awful to see the destruction that water can do. You have time in some cases, like these people actually had some bit of a warning to get out of there. If you were up high, you have a safer chance, but look at this. If you were in a boat, you have like zero chance. You're just gonna have to go where the waves take you and hopefully they take you in a good spot. The cars are just gonna get wrecked. The buildings may stand a chance. I mean, if it's a wide enough building and there's a strong foundation, as a civil, 
background as a civil engineer and the background that I have, I can tell you it just depends on how the build, buildings were built. And in Japan, they're pretty good engineers. But I can tell you, dude, water is nothing to play around with. I didn't build that boat. Man, I hope nobody's on that boat. Okay, it was abandoned. Thank God, because check it out. That boat's gone. Bro. I'm telling you, dude, this is like incredible, scary, and kind of amazing that they captured it on this film. Can you imagine being the one filming this? Dude, look how big that ship is. The bridge, look at the bridge though. That bridge design is impressive. That impresses me the most. The cars are still driving on the bridge, man. Like if I saw it coming, I wouldn't be driving. This is scary, dude. Look at it coming up like just mud water. Like, like the ocean just had diarrhea. I'm sorry, but it, it's still scary, man. I think I'd rather be on the bridge than a building, honestly. That bridge is just holding on. The Indian Ocean Tsunami was one of the deadliest ever and claimed over 200,000 people's lives. It's pretty sad. The Tokahu Tsunami. This was caused by a massive 9.0 earthquake and it triggered the mega tsunami that killed over 18,000 people, guys. I mean, if that doesn't scare you, I don't know what will. Next is the Krakatoa Tsunami caused by the Krakatoa volcanic eruption that we talked about earlier. It killed 36,000 people. Now, this sound was so loud, it knocked people off their feet and blew the eardrums out of people who were near it. That's why I can't hear it. I'm kidding. So the April Fool Tsunami, which I'm not joking about, was in Alaska, killed over 150 people and caused millions of dollars in damage. It had to just be on April's Fools. Everybody's just gonna play that joke up. Okay, the love in that tsunami was caused by a massive landslide and this took the lives of only 74 people. I say only 74 because it could have been a lot worse. Guys, cause tsunamis don't play. The Chicklub tsunami was caused by an asteroid. This wiped out the dinosaurs. There's the crater in the Yucatan Palenta and it's actually the second largest crater in the world. The Unzen Mega Tsunami was caused by a volcano in Japan. It killed over 10,000 people. The St. Helens Mega Tsunami. Okay, I remember this one. This was caused by a mountain when it crashed and fell in part of the lake and just triggered this massive tsunami. In Italy, this Volant Dam tsunami occurred when a large part of the forest fell into a dam and it triggered a monster wave. In 1946, the Littua Bay tsunami was triggered by a massive rocks falling into the bay. Dude, crazy wave today. Guys, this is said to be from a storm in California in 2023, man. Gee, somebody needs to charge that water some kind of rent fee. Ain't nobody allowed to stay at this resort for free, especially that water. Can you imagine being there and seeing that come after you? Surf's up, dude. This guy's about to surf the bowl of a lifetime, man. Hey, if that was me, I'd already have swallowed a mouthful of water. This guy's about to get wrapped up like a burrito in that wave, man. What is he thinking? Dude, will he make it out? What's he gonna do? How you get out of something like that? Man, can you imagine? A wall of water surrounding you like a wall tunnel of water? What is he gonna, oh. I, I don't know, man, that, that, that's some serious, that's either bravery, courage, or stupidity, bro. He's still going? I mean, guys, I, I can't believe he made it out alive. Let's go. This boy's about to be the last water airbender. Check him out. Seriously though, my guy Loki has some skills. The best water bender I can do is a cannonball, bro. He has an entire crowd watching. Maybe he is the avatar. What do you think? And you guys rock for watching this video. And guys, make sure you check out this video or this video next. I know you're gonna like it. You ready to go swimming?